Libras, welcome to your weekly love reading, August 22nd to the 31st for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Libras, meditating on your energy. I don't know if this is you or someone you're connecting with, but when I meditate, guys, for those who are new to my channel, I pick up on energy that's occurring in and around you. So this could be energy that's coming directly from you or someone in your environment. But Libra, some of you are pissed the hell off, man. Someone is like, tr is trying really hard to get under your skin. Someone's pushing your buttons, okay? That's for some of you. Others, someone's actually throwing a tantrum, okay? Others, someone's coming at you really pissed off, really entitled, really angry. It feels very tantrum-y, very tantrum-y. And in that scenario, I do feel like people are upset for you on your behalf. And I gotta be honest, guys, I kept seeing the tower card. When I was prepping the deck, I kept seeing the tower card. There's a bit, definitely a tower moment coming. Um, I do feel a three of swords energy attached to that. Whether you're, oh, it was 55 seconds when I looked up at the camera. Tower, tower moment. Um, guys, this three of swords energy, for some of you, it is finding out about a third party and it's going to piss you the fuck off. Okay, sorry. I'm like, it was like, it had that energy came in so quick of being so angry and it was just like, it was overwhelming and it's still with me. And like I said, some of you are going to be having this energy because you're going to be finding something out or you're going to be experiencing a tower moment with someone and someone's going to just push that button a little too hard, okay? Some of you are finding out about a third party, like I said. Um, others, like you're going to, it's basically going to be a very painful uh, kind of thing that's going to happen. It's going to make you angry, but you know, it's going to hurt too. It's going to hurt too. Whatever is coming your way. And Libra, some of you, this is just a straight up hater as well. Um, someone is trying, for some of you, someone is trying really hard to like undermine you or to like slander. I just got slander uh, to like, put, like throw your name in the mud, drag your name through the mud, however you say that phrase. Uh, I don't think it's going to work because I think you're going to make it very clear like, you know what I mean? I think you're going to clear it up really damn quick. Okay. For those where this is like gossip or someone's trying to, what's that word? It's like muck up your, not muck up your name. What's the word? Mess with your reputation, essentially. Mess with your reputation. And like I said, others, you're basically finding out about a third party. And I'm sorry, you got to hear it this way. Okay. Um, but either way, it's a lot of fiery, angry energy, a lot of angry emotions kind of going back and forth. Others, like I said, you got someone throwing a freaking tantrum trying to entice you into an argument. Do not fall for it. Okay. If there is someone who's literally freaking the fuck out, throwing a tantrum, um, acting like a child, acting all angry and pissy with you, coming at you wrong, do not fall for it, Libra. Do not fall for it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> God. All right, Libra, let's go ahead and get into this. Keep in mind, Libras, you do have some people that support you and you know who they are by now. Okay. Most of you know who they are by now. People who have your best interests at heart. Do not fall for people trying to bait you into a fight. Do not. Okay. Do not. But I know whatever you're going to, whatever is going to transpire, I know you're going to be pissed off about it. I can feel it. I can feel it. It's like you're ready to jump, Libra. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it, man. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, for those of you who are not aware, these are general readings, so they do not resonate with everybody. They can't resonate with everybody because I can't read for 8 billion people at once, all right? So just keep that in mind. Oh, I'm not going to take these, but these just fell out. Strength in reverse and Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I really feel like you're going to put someone in their place and make them feel hella small. I really feel like you're going to do that. Um, so keep that in mind, guys. Messages come through for those who need them. For those who need them okay um so if it's not your week it's not your week and there's nothing wrong with that someone else just had to hear that message okay i get what i get i'm just the messenger i'm just the messenger keep in mind guys we are working with energy so these can be vice versa if you got to reverse the roles that's fine it's energy it's not linear energy is not fixed it's not linear it's fluid okay also um that's also indicative of sign energy like zodiac sign energy so as i'm calling out different sign energy it's just the energies that are being harnessed it doesn't have to pertain to that person's specific sign okay it's just for informative purposes only keep in mind guys gender also doesn't matter we all have masculine and feminine energy oh i might have said that i might have said that if i said that oh well so let's go ahead and get into this all right guys any messages for my libras Libras, you got a fire in your belly about this situation, man. Any messages for my Libras regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? They keep telling me don't fall for it. They keep telling me do not fall for it, Libra. For those who are getting enticed into an argument, they're trying to bait you. They're trying to bait you. They're trying to get you upset. It's like one of those things where it's like, if we can get Libra to 
go there if we can get libra to fall to our level then it's like it's like proving something it's like trying to prove something about who you are um but libras just don't fall for it there are people who just want to mess with their reputation any messages for libra regarding love august 22nd to the 31st any messages for libra regarding love august 22nd to the 31st and libra you know sometimes people misunderestimate misunderestimate <laughs> Sometimes people underestimate, what the hell? Oh, anyway, notification, sorry. Sometimes people underestimate Libras, you know, because Libras, you guys do like peace and you guys are really sweet. You guys are very, very, very sweet people. You're Venus. You're Venus rolled and you're an air sign on top of that. Um, and people sometimes think they can get away with shit with Libras. I don't know why they think that. And then you turn it on and then it's like, oh shit, yeah, don't fuck with Libra. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this, all right? Any messages for my Libras? Regarding love, ooh, nope. Any messages from my Libras? Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Any messages from my Libras regarding love, August 22nd to the 30? Making the sh machine angry over here. <laughs> Let's see here. Ooh, seven of cups in reverse, scorpionic energy. There is no more confusion in this situation, Libra. That's what I'm getting. No more confusion. No more confusion. Things are very crystal clear. I feel like someone's been trying to keep you confused about something or keep something hidden from you, Libra, but they they can't anymore. They can't anymore. Let's see here. What did I say about the tower? Tower in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because this is Mars influence. King of Swords. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Libra, I don't think this is your energy. I really don't. I really don't. Um, I feel like this is someone who's going to be upsetting you, to be honest with you. Um, you see something clearly now about a situation that may have already occurred with you and a King of Swords. Others, this tower hasn't happened yet. Okay, so just keep that in mind. This tower moment was basically, um, mm, they're telling me it wasn't what you thought it was. It was a trick? What? We're going to have to look into this tower because they're telling me the tower wasn't what it seems. Like when this, for some, like I said, it already happened. For those where this tower already happened, whatever you thought happened, that's not exactly what happened. And you're going to get full clarity on why, on what happened there. Okay. But this King of Swords definitely, I think, manipulated the situation so that you couldn't really figure out what was behind the actual event. Does that make sense? So whatever happened, you took it as A happened, you know? Event A happened. That's what happened to me. That's what the King of Swords did to me or was a part of with me. That's what happened. When all in reality, it was really like a event C kind of a situation, but the King of Swords made sure that you thought otherwise. Understand what I'm saying? The King of Swords made sure you thought otherwise. For others of you, this tower is about to happen. Okay? Most of you, I think it already happened. Any other messages for my Libra? Could have even been with a family member. It could be with a family member, a lover, a coworker, a friend. Um, definitely a very masculine energy, though. Ooh, to a cups, Libra. This is a soulmate of yours. This might just be a really hard lesson. Uh, can't Syrian energy, soulmate energy. Soulmates are, are meant for us to, to learn lessons most of the time. And we got a lot of soulmates, guys. We got a lot of soulmates. But that's what I'm feeling with this. Yeah, this King of Swords is a soulmate of yours. You thought something happened a certain way and there was a hell of a lot more to it and you're just finding out now this king of swords manipulated the situation any other messages for libra any other messages for libra regarding love august 22nd to the 31st any other messages for libra regarding love august 22nd to the 31st behind the scenes i just heard behind the scenes wow that's it libra overall energy five of swords in reverse venus and aquarian energy underneath this we have the death card scorpionic energy guys i just heard there will be no peace i have the chills peace is over truce is over oh shit oh shit libra it's getting serious libra i think that's how you're feeling during this time whenever you get this full clarity I think that's how you're feeling. I think that's how you're going to be feeling. Truce is over. Peace is over. You're mad. You are. You're angry. 
you're angry. Let's go ahead and look at the Seven of Cups in reverse and see what's being revealed about this. Like I said, for some, this tower hasn't happened yet. And when this tower happens, you're going to think it's some, it's like one way, like, yeah, okay, that's, that's just what happened. Like, you're just chopping it up to whatever you think it is, whatever your perception is. But this king, like I said, manipulated the situation to make you think, make you think that, to make you think that. They're hiding something. This King of Swords was hiding something from you for those who haven't experienced this tower yet, and you'll find out later what it is, okay? <sighs> Libra, calm down. <laughs> Libra, calm down. I'm going to use Gilded Tarot to clear up. No, no, I changed my mind. I'm going to use Rider Waite. <laughs> I'm going to use Rider Waite. So I have Seven of Cups in Reverse. So I have Seven of Cups in Reverse. For some of you, when this tower happened, it like something about it probably didn't even add up to you. You were probably like, that was weird that it happened that way, but whatever. That's how it happened, and you just kept it moving along. You didn't hold on to it. Man, I'm like, I'm nervous, Libra. You're making me nervous. Talking about Seven of Cups in reverse for Libra regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Ooh. Calm it down, guys. I can, I can seriously feel your anger. A lot of you, this hasn't happened yet. I'm feeling the anger you're going to be feeling. So I have seven of cups in reverse for Libra regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Man, that was serious too. There will be no peace. Moon in reverse on the bottom. Clarity. So I have seven of cups in reverse. Some of you guys are having anxiety, anxiety right now. I didn't mean to make your anxiety go up, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you anxious. So I have seven of cups in reverse. Libra, justice in reverse, Libra energy and the Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy it could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Whatever you're finding out, you feel very betrayed. You feel very betrayed. You feel like it's a serious injustice, a serious injustice. And it's interesting because you're coming across as a Queen of Cups. I feel like it's making you look back at this tower for those who where it's already happened. And like I said, <clears throat> some of you, this tower moment hasn't happened yet. And then after it's happened, you'll find out later after that. So some of you, this might not even transpire until like end of September. Oh, I just saw a pumpkin. October. Oh, I hope this doesn't happen on your birthday, Libra. I'm like, not. no, it won't, it won't, it won't. I'm not putting that out in the ether. Anyway, um, when you find this out, it's going to feel like a major injustice and it's going to make you really hurt. But when a Libra is really hurt, they they get really angry. Okay, and that's and that's how you're going to be feeling. It's making you look back at it, at what happened and making you put the pieces together. Talking about Seven of Cups in reverse. Ooh, Libra. <laughs> Talking about Seven of Cups in reverse. For Libra. Wow. Two of Wands in reverse, Aries energy. Four of Swords in reverse, Libra energy. And a Knight of Wands in reverse. Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo. This feels like someone dipping out or ghosting. Yeah, this feels like someone like, like very indecisive energy. Someone who's like confused all the time. Doesn't really know what they want. Very impulsive. Very like instant self-gratification. It's someone who's also refusing to look at themselves. It's actually what I'm getting with the Four of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this King of Swords, whoever they are, Libra... It's someone who's not exactly stable, okay? And I don't mean like in the mental sense. They could suffer, suffer a little bit from mental instability, but they're not stable in their own life because they don't really know themselves and they don't know what they really want. They don't know what makes them really happy. They could have ghosted you. They could have dipped out on you. They could have, you could have felt a little abandoned by this person, but that's because this person really doesn't even know what they want for themselves, okay? So just know that. Let's see what else we got with the Seven of Cups in reverse. Yeah, some of you are finding out you're dealing with a player. Like straight, oh, I just heard big time. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I don't really want to call this out, but it's what I'm feeling. Well, okay, I'm just going to tell you what I'm getting and we'll pull more cards. It just feels like really heavy and serious and deep. And I think it only applies to honestly like a couple of you. I'm getting like down low energy, to be honest with you guys. Like, um... Like someone was having sex on the down low with like strangers, multiple people. And for some, it was like people of um, the same sex. And that's like a secret sexual preference of theirs. You're finding that out. Talking about Seven of Cups in reverse. I just heard exposed. Yeah, for a couple of you, that's going to ring true. Talking about Seven of Cups in reverse. Talking about Seven of Cups in reverse for Libra. Talking about 
the Seven of Cups in reverse for Libra. Yeah, like if you were with someone like committed to this is like for people who feel like were committed. If you're committed to someone, uh, they were like away a lot or they wouldn't answer you a lot, like or they were really slow to like respond on the phone or what have you. Um, and the truth of it is like they were just spending time on the down low. Having sex with a lot of different people. Can I have seven of cups in reverse? Let's see what we got here. <sighs> wow. Death in reverse, scorpionic energy, and then ten of cups, Piscean energy. Wow, and it's so interesting, Libra, because it's like you're finding this out because I think this person, this king of swords, is trying to make a comeback with you. I think they're trying to make a comeback with you. I think they're trying to pull a Lazarus. Whoever, for those who don't know what that is, a Lazarus is basically someone that you thought that you would put behind you, that you were done with, you buried. That's in the past. I don't talk to that person anymore. Well, Lazarus is them basically rising from the dead, okay? Um, they see the Ten of Cups with you. You don't feel that way. That's for damn sure. You do not feel that way. Overall energy, we have the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles underneath that. We have the Five of Cups, Scorpionic Energy underneath that. We have the Ace of Cups. Libra, someone's realizing they love you. Someone's realizing they love you and they've been really sad about not, yeah, this is definitely Lazarus Energy. Someone's really sad that they've lost you. Someone's really sad about this because they're deeply in love with you and they're realizing that. They're, they've been thinking about it. They've been thinking about it, which is why they want to come back and pull a Lazarus with you because like, damn, Libra's my Ten of Cups. I didn't mean to do Libra like that. Libra's my Ten of Cups. I shouldn't have played Libra. I shouldn't have played Libra. But in this person coming back, you're finding out the truth. I feel like some of you are finding out the truth before they even come back. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, I feel like some of you are actually finding out the truth of what this person was up to before they even come back. Oh, that'd be a really... Sh <laughs> Imagine walking into a conversation with you, Libra, after you already know the truth that they're about to like, like didn't really want to keep, like didn't really want to tell you. Maybe we're trying to keep from you. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Um... Some of you are going to find out because they're just going to tell you. And I don't think they're going to. They're, some of you are going to find out because they're going to tell you about it. They're going to tell you about it. And they're going to very, very much so underestimate your reaction. Wow. Okay. Because that's what I get with this. There will be no peace. And that's how you are feeling. Very strongly, that's how you are feeling. There will be no fucking peace. Anyway, sorry. Your energy is intense right now, Libra. So let's go into this King of Swords and this Tower, okay? I'm curious about this Tower moment, and then we'll end. Well, we might not even look at this. We'll see what we get with the Tower, see if we need any more information. I'm going to use Gilded for the Tower. Can I have the Tower in reverse? Can I have the Tower in reverse? Can I have the Tower in reverse? For Libra, regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Planet Tower in Reverse. Talking about Tower in Reverse for Libra, regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Yeah, for my Libras, where you were not committed to this person, like this someone you were just dating or flirting with um i think they just ghosted you for those where this is just a dating scenario i think they just ghosted you or disappeared um stopped talking to you and you were kind of left like all right well whatever what the hell um but there was other shit going on in the background stuff that i don't think you would be happy about even if you were just dating them all right it's about the tower in reverse like a lot yeah i'm just getting a lot of over overt sexual uh lifestyle energy and it's like hey guys i'm not a prude to each their own to each their own but i really feel like secretive stuff like secretive down low sex stuff and again to each their own but you know just gotta be straight up with shit like that oh my god we got a peeker knight of cups piscean energy could also be water or fire that's crazy my car has been doing that a lot more lately just randomly making a sneak peek appearance so I got the tower in reverse. So Knight of Cups is a very flirty, charming energy. Like not just flirty, like overt flirtation passion. It's also someone who like tries to give you sweet little nothings, you know? Tell me about the tower in reverse for Libra. Wow, and Page of Swords. Yeah, I think this person's trying to make a comeback, guys. 
This person's trying to make a comeback. I'm also getting spying energy, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm also getting spying energy. I don't like this person's energy at all. I really don't. I feel like someone's looking at someone's social media a lot. I guess her background. Background? Someone's, yeah, Libra, this person, I think, spent a lot of time looking into your past, even though they weren't, like, super committed to the situation or were cheat, flat out cheating on you. And now that there's been this separation, because a lot of you, this is definitely a separation case. Um, yeah, I don't feel like you're very heavily involved directly with this King of Swords, any, uh, uh, you know, as of now. Um, they're, like, looking you up again, wondering what you're up to, because they want to kind of swoop in here. They want to swoop in here because they want to resurrect the situation because they look at you as the Ten of Cups. If you're dating Libra, please be very careful. If you're dating, this person's watching you. I don't think in a stalkery way, but it's like to the point where they're like, how could they find out who you're dating though? This is a very Snoopy energy. I don't like it. A very Snoopy energy. One way or another, they might be finding out who you're dating. If they're running background checks, they might be finding your dating profiles. They might be finding your dating profiles, okay? Just be very careful here. Be very careful with this person. King of Wands. Leo energy could also be air or fire. Yeah, I, whoa, Libra. Why do I feel like this is your energy? It's almost like you're staring right back at them. Yeah, they're pulling a Lazarus with you. They're coming in as a Knight of Cups. And you're staring at them like a king, even if you're a female. Very, because you're pissed. That's why. Thank you. Because you're angry. So it's like you're tapping into your masculine fiery side, your masculine fiery energy. And we are still in a little bit of Leo energy, like reminiscent, even during this time. You're challenging them. Because it's this energy of there will be no peace with us. Wow. Yeah, Seven of Cups in reverse, because you're not confused about this anymore. Scorpionic energy. You're not confused about this person. You're not confused about how you feel about this person. You're challenging them. Tell me about Tower in reverse. Tell me about Tower in reverse. Like I said, some of you, they're just going to flat out tell you. They're going to flat out tell you what they were up to whenever things weren't going so well with you guys or whenever they left you or ghosted you. And it's going to piss you the hell off. Way, way underestimating you, Libra. Others you're finding out probably through social media or someone telling you stuff on social media because they keep getting the so heavy social media, digital internet vibe because I feel like a lot of you are coming, this person's coming into the situation not realizing you already kind of know what's up. So yeah, some of you already know what's up through social media means, digital means, people maybe even telling you, um, and others are going to flat out just have the balls to tell you, and it's going to it's gonna make you mad. Talk about the tower in reverse. Talk about the tower in reverse for Libra. Talk about the tower in reverse for Libra. Overall energy, wow. Page of cups in reverse underneath that. Five of cups, scorpionic energy underneath that. Yeah, the Ten of Wands, Sagittarian energy. You're not, you're not hearing them. You're not hearing them. You don't want to hear them. You don't want to hear them. And it puts them in a state of like that Five of Cups, Ten of Wands energy, feeling like the heavy burden of loss, which they've already been feeling, Libra. They've already been feeling that. But it's just like, you, I think you're accusing them of being emotionally manipulative and emotionally deceptive. And especially with this charming energy around this tower moment, like... Yeah, I feel like this person was a big flirt, a big charmer, talked a big game. They could have even they could have even been that kind of person to say, "Yeah, I love you, Libra," when they don't even know what that word means. Wow. Yeah, you're you're calling them out. You're really calling them out on their bullshit. You're not having it. You're pissed as hell because you have clarity. You've got clarity. Um, I'm curious more about the Seven of Cups in Reverse too. Uh, let's use the Kipper deck. Where are we at? Oh, 24 minutes. Oh, we're good. We might even look at that two of cups. Libra, you might already have someone else too. You might already have someone else interested in you. Can I have seven of cups in reverse? Oh, that's a lot. I'm not taking those. It's <laughs> a lot of freaking cards. Can I have seven of cups in reverse? I'm using the Kipper deck. Keep in mind, Kipper deck is very, very detailed, okay? So some of these details may not apply to all of you. It's for whatever needs to come through. Can I have seven of cups in reverse for my Libra? Yeah, you're going very alpha on them. Very, very alpha. Tell me about Seven of Cups in reverse for Libra. See here. Wow, what did I say? Community. 
concern and community. Some of you are finding out on social media. Some of you are seriously finding this out through social media of whatever it was they were up to and they don't even know as they're coming into this conversation. Wow, that's intense. That's intense. Because community could also be friends. There could be mutual friends you guys have that are telling you and it's putting you in a state of concern. More like anger, but they don't really have an anger card in the Kipper deck. <laughs> Tell me about Seven of Cups in reverse for Libra. Some could have been um, having sexual relations through social media. Like with, again, this whole straight, sex with strangers thing. Hold on, come back. And again, to each their own, but, you know, be honest, right? Be honest. Tell me about Seven of Cups in reverse for Libra. August 22nd to the 31st. Let's see here. <sighs> Poverty. That's actually a very masculine energy. It's like a, how do I say this? It's like a low vibrational, uh, obligatory, almost like enslavement energy, it's like enslaved to community. Like, yeah, well, that's just exactly what I was picking up. It's like soliciting for people for sex on social media, on the internet, you're fighting Libra. Some of you are finding out before this person even approaches you and it makes you angry as fuck. <laughs> Some of them are flat out telling you the truth and you're just looking at this person like, who are you? Like, who are you? This person feels like they've lost a lot, okay? They feel like they've lost a lot emotionally because um, you're not around anymore because of their, you know, because of this. For some, it's a straight up sex addiction. And even then, they still think they can come in because they see the Ten of Cups with you. On the bottom, mm-hmm, main male. Main male. This person was significant for a time period. I'm gonna say a time period because for some of you, you might have been dating this person, talking to this person for maybe just a couple months. Um, some of you could have actually been committed to this person at one point in time. I don't think you're, this is for any Libras who are in a committed relationship right now, okay? Or at least, um, at least with this person. At least with this person. Underneath that, we do have expectation, which I think is really interesting. 28, that's a cyclical energy. Expectation is quite literally how it sounds. It's a waiting energy. It's also known as like the three-month period card or three-month grace period card. So some of you, whatever whatever this initial tower was of them bouncing could have been three months ago from the time that you see this. So where, where are we? We're like end of August. That could have been like end of May, early June, right? Depending on when you see this, because some of you guys are going to see this at later times. But three months from uh, three months ago or three months from now, okay? Because like I said, some of you haven't had this tower happen yet. But there's also the sense of waiting and expectation. Um some of you had a gut feeling about this. Some of you had a gut feeling about this. Oh, I'm hearing down low again, especially for those where this person might have been addicted to like down low sexual encounters or unable to stop having down low sexual encounters. I'm getting the same sex energy again. Again, no, I'm not trying to say anything about anyone's sexual preference. I'm just saying be honest with people. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Just be honest with people. For those in that scenario, I am so sorry because that... Do you hear that machine freaking the fuck out? Like, yeah, you guys are going to be really angry. You guys are going to be really angry about this. Um, yeah, someone just has a sexual preference for the same sex and they're just like, they just, they just kind of keep it a secret and feed that, feed that on the down low. And then we end up this two of cups energy. Do we even want to look at this? Yes. I just heard a hard yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. We'll look at it, guys. We'll look at it. And then we'll pull advice. If I could pick these cards up. Uh, feeling legacy for this one. Talking about the Two of Cups. Talking about the Two of Cups for Libra. Libra, I'm all hot now. Oh my God. Talking about the Two of Cups for Libra. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Wow, some of you guys are, are like saying to this person, you're just a big fat liar. Wow. Some of you guys are throwing some serious shade towards this person. Do you even know your own truth? Do you even know the truth from lie anymore? Like some of you are really calling this person out. Tell me about Two of Cups for Libra. God, I almost don't even want to post this reading. Tell me about Two of Cups for Libra. <clears throat> Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Two of Cups for Libra. I think you guys waited on this person. Some of you did. Some of you really waited on this person. Um, 
But that's because you didn't know the full truth, man. If you knew the full truth, I don't think you would have waited on this person. Tell me about Two of Cups <clears throat> for Libra. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Two of Cups for Libra. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. I'm hearing phone, phone, phone. Watch your phone. Um, why am I saying watch your phone? I like they that's what they want me to say. Watch your phone. Uh, page of wands in reverse. This is my bad news card. It's also a very gossipy card as well. Oh, okay. Let's see what else we got here. Tell me about two of cups, nine of swords in reverse, Gemini energy, five of wands in reverse, Leo energy, page of pentacles, and then we have the three of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Yeah, this person's stepping to you, Libra, and it's like, they're basically saying, hey, I don't want any tension between us anymore. You know, it's like, I, you know, and I feel like for some of you, you already put it past you because it's like, there will be no peace, right? There will be no peace. And this person clearly has been worried about it, but they're trying to make an extension to you. They want to make an offer to you uh, to kind of mend something here, to rebuild something, to get rid of all of this awful energy of being a, of being very um, overly worried, concerned. Some are even depressed with this Five of Cups energy. Um, no longer wanting to fight within themselves about the situation. This person's been like laid up at night. This person like has really been struggling with all of this Libra. And I don't think you've been aware of that. But they want to basically... They basically want to work with you on this. They want to discuss some shit again, okay? They want to get on the same page with you, but you're taking this as like really bad news. You're, you're just, I, I think some of you are just kind of stunned that this person has the nerve to step to you like this. Tell me about Two of Cups. Tell me about the Two of Cups for Libra regarding love. Tell me about Two of Cups for Libra regarding love. August 22nd to the 31st. Let's see here. <sighs> Libra. Death. Scorpionic energy and the Eight of Cups. Piscean energy. This is leaving shit behind. Libra, I'm honest to God, some of you, you're just like, there's no peace between us. There will be no peace between us because you're a big fat liar and I'm putting an end to this and I'm and I'm leaving this behind forever. <sighs> Guys got me all hot. Um, I also feel like this person's claiming they've changed. For those who are not flat out shutting the door on this person, um, they're going to be claiming that they've changed here, okay? That they've gone through some kind of death process and that they have left these addictions behind, left these player ways behind left these sex addictions behind oh i'm like I'm, I'm like overwhelmed overall energy wow look at this queen of wands aries energy could also be um fire or water with the nine of cups wish fulfillment this person this is your other this is <clears throat> excuse me this is this main male energy so it's interesting libra because you're coming across as a king of wands here okay your masculine is matching their inner feminine. So some of you guys were de are definitely counterparts. I gotta be honest. Some of you guys are definitely counterparts. And this person, this king of wands, king of wands, queen of wands slash king of swords energy, right? Because their masculine side, their masculine side is more of like a king of swords energy. At least that's being harnessed right now. Um, this person, that's their wish fulfillment is to wake at work with you. Their wish fulfillment is to have the ton of cups with you. And I think, Libra, they see you as being fairly complete on your own, which is what's also enticing them. But Libra, uh, you're so angry that I'm just like, oh, God, like, I really think you're, you're a lot of you are just going to be like, hell no. Hell no. But let's go ahead and pull some advice and see what the advice is here for you guys. This is a really intense read. I'm, I'm actually like my head's like on fire because it's because like, this energy is like so your energy is so like pissed off towards this person. <clears throat> Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Now, like I said, it's like, can, can people change? Sure. Yes, if they really want to. And 
guys, at the end of the day, this is your life. This is just an opportunity and you do not have to take it. And it's up to you to decide if this person's really changed. Um, especially if they're coming clean about all of this. That's totally up to you. I'm not telling you what to do. That is your decision, guys. That is your decision. Okay? <clears throat> Any advice? Any advice from my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice from my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice from my Libras regarding this spread? Let's see here. So I got three cards that just came out. If I could pick them up. Really? Can you tell how I feel about this advice? So the first one out is Snake Spirit, Time to Heal. I'm not surprised this one came out. Energy of 55, again, very indicative of a tower moment. Dear Spirit, bring a gentle touch. Mm. Mm. 18, breaking down to a nine, completion. And then Bobcat Spirit, life is a mystery with the energy of eight. Libra, do not hate me. This is just Spirit's advice. I'm not telling you what to do. You do whatever the hell you want, especially in this kind of situation. I'm not telling you what to do. Um, but Spirit's basically saying, take this as an opportunity to heal what has happened between the two of you, to heal any any remaining wounds you have from what this person did to you or put you through. But with Dear Spirit, it's basically saying to be tactful, to be compassionate. I know, I know. That doesn't mean be a doormat. That's not what that's saying. That's just saying to be very high vibe about this, to take the high road with this person and just hear what they have to say. Life is a mystery is basically saying that this could actually lead to something very successful. This could actually lead to a very fulfilling kind of connection and relationship. It could. It has the potential. It's potential. It's up to you to decide if you want to go down that road again. Okay? They're claiming they've changed. That could be total a total lie because you already look at them as a liar. Um, or that could be totally true. Okay? And especially if this was an addiction... If they got the right help and it's like a sex addiction, hear them out. I'm not saying take them back. I'm not saying I'm not saying to do any of that. I'm just saying hear them out. Okay? Just hear them out. Because life is a mystery. You really don't know what's ahead, right? And the truth of it is, no one knows what we go through as individuals. And we can always guesstimate like you know, what people have been through, why they do what they do and all of that. And you can keep guesstimating on every little detail of what's behind this person's words, what's behind these person's actions. But at the end of the day, you just don't know. And that's where faith comes in, right? Not telling you what to do. This is just Spirit's advice. Let's keep going. See what other advice Spirit has. Because I felt your anger, man. It's going to be hard for you to be calm and tactful with this person, I think. Any advice? Any advice for my Libras? Oh, come on. You can't throw that card at me. <laughs> I can't believe the cards were just threw out here. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep moving the camera. Any advice for my Libras? Wow, that flew with vengeance. All right, so we've got three other cards here. Hold on, let me get this one. <laughs> oh, Libra. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's just like spirit can be so funny. Some of you, what I'm about to say, you're going to feel like, is this a joke? Some of you are going to feel like that. Is this a joke? Yeah. Badger spirit with the energy of four, be fearless and bold. <laughs> otter spirit, you are never alone. You guys know about the otter spirit. 42 breaking down to a six and then owl spirit, you see clearly now. 43 breaking down to a seven. Libra, what it's basically saying is your intuition is basically holding the key here. Jeez, I don't know why the camera's moving so much. Libra, your intuition holds the key here and you will know what to do. All right, you will know what to do. When these two cards come out together, it's also very indicative of a very, very divine connection. I'm sorry, guys, but it is. And look at those matching colors. It is. Otter spirit is basically like lovers, two of cups, six of cups. Some of you, there, some of you are just going to take this as a lesson learned, okay? No shame in that. Some of you are just going to take this as a lesson learned, Others of you are going to realize that maybe this person has changed. Maybe this person is being really honest with me, but your intuition is going to tell you the key. Your intuition is going to basically going to show you that this person either really, truly supports you and truly does love you and truly has changed, or 
that this is a soulmate and you're learning a lesson. Your intuition is going to tell you and it's going to be different for all of you. But I love that badger spirit is here because it's basically saying don't be afraid to challenge them. And you're not. You're not being afraid to challenge them. I freaking love that. Like, hold on. Where'd those cards go? Like, look, look at this. Look at this. This is how these cards came out. This is you looking at this person like, are you fucking kidding me? I was like, <laughs> you are seriously going to be very, very bold here. You're not going to let them get away with shit. You're going to challenge them. And, and Libra, that's the advice. It is to challenge them. Challenge this connection. Challenge this person. The more you challenge them, the more truth you're going to see. Okay? The more truth you're going to see. You're going to see that this person is still a big fat liar. Or others of you are going to realize, wow, okay, this person really has changed. Your intuition is going to tell you. Overall, we have chameleon spirit. Act as if. 14 breaking down to a 5. This is saying be adaptable. Be adaptable to the situation. Roll with the punches. Even if it's finding out some truth and sh like finding out this person is a huge ass liar, taking that lesson and keeping your, keeping it moving as it, as it causes some change within you. Others of you are going to realize, okay, this person's really adapted. This person's really adapted. This person's really changed. This is quite the amazing connection that I thought it might be. Um, I can roll with this. I can adapt to this. Like I said, it's going to be different for all of you. Decide how you feel about it. Use your intuition. Your intuition is going to tell you everything you need to know. Okay? Oh, Libra, that was a ride. That was a roller coaster. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go um, on Patreon. <laughs> See, you guys like totally threw me with your energy on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Oh, namaste, Libras. Take it easy.